I say, pro players, remember when Iron Talon existed? О, Талон, Талон. Я очень нравился Талон. Да, еще даже когда он в Нитрако был, я понял, во-первых, его станции берешь, и у тебя появляется возможность типа где-то проедать, где-то варды ставить, если ты пятерка, например. Плюс ты мог большого крипа просто нажать Талон, там нюк, и он умер. I miss Iron Talon because the offlane can start with jungle. And right now, yeah, sometimes I want to start on jungle, so I, I cannot feed as offlane. <laughs> That's the time you play post for and like you buy on Talon and jungle level one. <laughs> it wasn't even Dota. You would just jungle. People in pubs would start jungling with Iron Talon level one. There was like it made no sense. It actually made no sense. For two one to that we can be a young lead, but if I got to Dara some open the city, they found Sonya each other to see I don't can you turn that over. He just find the iron talon and Sarah Talon, he comes with two items and scales it. I didn't think it was the worst thing in the world. Like I think PMS was kind of the worst thing in the world. PMS, poor man shield. Back when offlaners were left to fend for themselves, this glorified plank made their lives mostly bearable by blocking 30 damage from every enemy attack. Try right-clicking me now, Crystal Maiden. Horn Machine was so dumb, man. Was so dumb. <laughs> Playing against some melee Aggie hero TV or Naga or something and trying to hit the guy. And you just would hit him 16 times and you maybe dealt like... You maybe dealt 20 damage if you had bought enough stats. Yeah, it just was just bullshit. You just go to the lane. Either if you have 40 damage, which is support hero, you're tickling the guy and you kind of feel like, well, you know, enjoy your lane carry. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> the patch before it got removed, it was just every mid melee hero bought it and went mid, right? And then they just went in the lane. It was too strong or something. It had some crazy block percentage. Back then, there was one patch where you would pick Legion Commander and you would buy a PMS and you would 1v3 a lane. They had an offlaner who's like level 2 struggling in like struggle city and I'm like just chilling level 5 and they're like, what's going on? Some items have only just recently left us to go to Ice Frog's item heaven in the clouds. However, the Necronomicon and the two demons it spawned shan't be joining them because they belong in hell! 感觉就没有比比这个道具更让酱油讨厌的道具了。You know, I'm just running around and suddenly like these two little guys just gang up on me and kill me and I'm like, oh, that's cool, I guess. That item was definitely an abomination of a Dota item at the end. Like, perma haste, slay jungle camps really fast, give true vision, give mana burn, give a hard purge. 然后三技术以后他还能排演。这个真的是恐怖,好吧,恐怖如此。yeah, I don't like my words to be killed by some guy that just clicked one button and doesn't have any skill. I spam a lot of taggies and like people just buy the Necro book level 3 and like clear all my bombs. So like, yeah, it's very really good that Necro book is gone. <laughs> As a good riddance, I'm happy they removed it. I'm so happy they removed it. Yeah, good riddance. Can I say the saddest moment? Like... Why they removed the Necro Tree? Because I love the Necro Tree item. I'm gonna use it, follow to the support, and remove their vision. They are kinda sad, so I feel good when they are sad. <laughs> what a sicko. As a man greater than I once said, everything can work. And you? The player experimenting like some mad scientist is why the game of Dota continues to get better and better. Do not weep for the removed items, for upon that heap of selfless sacrifice we stand proudly today. They will always live on, as long as we remember them. Good night.